So I don't know if you uh, remember this project that I did some time ago. It has a nice LED display in it, and it's a front panel. And so this was meant to be a uh, project box for multiple projects. I have, I have several of these boxes, and I had a PC board laid out, and, and uh, it, it, becomes the, it becomes the front panel. I know it's black on black, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's an LED display here, and, and uh, up-down arrow keys, and select keys, and stuff like that. And then it's got a Nano VNA on the front. Uh, nano VNA. <laughs> I got that stuck in my head. Uh, a, a, a Nano Arduino uh, stuck on the front. And so I can just plug into it, change the code, and, and play with it. So uh, I've never really used one of these yet for any project, but um, I've got an idea for one now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a uh, RF generator, or some type of frequency generator. Um, I, have, um, I have one of these things that I've had for, gosh, forever. Uh, it's one of those direct digital synthesis chips, AD9850, I think. Uh, analog device is 9850, and uh, it's good from 0 to 30 megahertz, I believe. Um, so that's a nice usable range, for, especially for AM radio. Um, but uh, I thought uh, that would be cool to put it in a box and then have it menu-driven, so make it into an instrument. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to um, uh, try to mount this thing inside. Uh, I have a power connector on the back, but there's a hole here that's the perfect size for BNC, so I'll stick a BNC for the output and uh, mount this thing inside. It, uh, it's pretty easy to hook up. It requires four pins, power and ground, plus four pins, uh, and so we'll do that. My front panel only requires, I think, four pins as well. I don't remember, so it eats up four pins of the, uh, of the Nano, but... Um, uh, I've got lots left over, of course, so there we go. Uh, so I've started writing, started writing some code, and so I have it documented on which pins go where. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so the front panel uses pins 2, 3, 4, and 5 for uh, latch clock data and, and a switch sense. So it uses four pins, and then I'll hook up the uh, AD... Uh, 809850 that requires uh, some type of clock, uh, some type of frequency up the uh, frequency update pin. Oh, I guess it says go put it in. So it's like a latch. Uh, so clock, latch, data, and reset. Uh, so it takes in serial data. I think it'll run parallel too, but I have it set up to do serial data. Um, and so that's going to require pin six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, so anyway. Let's hook that up. I've got screws out. And so right now there's just, uh, I don't know if you can see way down in there, but there's just a wire going from the front to the back, five volts. And I uh, found a B and C. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it's a big hole. It's bigger than a BNC. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll put it in a different hole then. I'll just make this hole bigger here. It's already a hole. I'll just uh, enlarge it with, uh, with the drill. So I'll do that. And then I'll figure out some way of holding the board in there. Hmm. Maybe we'll just, uh, maybe we'll just insulate it somehow and just throw it in there. <laughs> that sounds like me. Uh, no need to... Uh, Make things commercial quality. Yeah. So I've got the board out, um, and I've added the uh, added the BNC on the back. So we're all set to go. So I just need uh, power ground, four wires, and two more wires to go out to the uh, connector on the back, and some way to hold that. And I thought I'd go ahead and use, uh, use the wire that I just acquired. It's a nice, nice wire. And uh, yeah, solder some on. All right, there we go. Got the module on. Uh, power and ground come to uh, the uh, external power connector here. And the uh, sign output comes over to here with a ground also. 
And then in this bundle here is power ground and the four, uh, four connections to digital uh, control. So it's ready to go into, uh, oops, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's uh, ready to go in the box. So yeah, let's see if we can button it up. I'll see if I can figure out how to isolate this. <laughs> Put a plastic bag around it or something, I don't know. Okay, I couldn't leave it like that. Uh, I'm not going to put a trash bag around it. Uh, I've got some uh, double sticky tape, and so I uh, I put it on uh, PC board to PC board, kind of dead bug style. And uh, I've got this really cool tape. I bought this a long time ago for an automotive project that I did, and it's this uh, 3M VHB tape. This stuff is awesome. They they advertise it as uh, oh, this is the stuff they make fire trucks out of. I don't know, they got some kind of aluminum sheeting or something they put on the side of things or buildings and stuff. Anyway, it's uh, it's sticky. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so that's very, very good now, very solid. I'll button it up. All right, there we go. I think I'll uh, just keep those two screws in there until I know that it works. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll keep taking the screws on and off and on and off and on and off, but I think it'll work. Give it a try first, buy some software for it. All right, I have some rud rudimentary uh, software in here. And so I really love these displays. They look really, really nice. So the way that I had this set up is that if you, um, I'll reset it, uh, if you, uh, Turn it on, it, it, it defaults to some number, and then you can hit the, the up, down, left, and right arrow keys. So if you hit the uh, up key, it, it, it increments, and then if you go right and increment, I went over right too far. So there's the tens, and there's the hundreds, and there's the thousands, and here's the tens of thousands. Uh, so I need to figure out the negative thing, don't want to do that. So uh, once you get a number in here, uh, 6548, this is hertz, how many hertz. Then if you push the, uh, push the middle button, it loads it into the, uh, into the DDS. So uh, where's my scope? There it is over there. Uh, so if I hit the middle button, boom. So we get, uh, we get something so I can, uh, I can lower the, uh, uh, let's see, let me, let me reset it back to uh, 10,000. So that's 10,000. Let's see if I go down to, oops. So here's 4,000 and you can see it changed. All right. So what I need to do is uh, change the software. So I, I really like it. It, 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 it. It's a real nice form factor. Um, so I need, I need to figure out how to put a cursor or a flash or something so you know which digit, which digit, digit you're on. I think it's got un uh, underscore capability. So I'll put an underscore and then you know where you are when you're going left and right. Um, and then I can add other features into, and stuff too. I've got one feature here. Uh, I've got... Uh, a feature to zero it, so the very bottom button over here zeroes it. Uh, so that's good. And then this, so, so I've got left down, upright, and middle, so that's enter. 
And then I've got these three buttons here, which are user configurable. <laughs> anyway, the top button I have is uh, displays fonts. So it just runs the, uh, it runs the display. That's a program I had left over from when I, when I built this thing first, just to try it out. And then, uh, let's see, I'll just turn around. So that's how the backside turned out. Uh, just a BNC and a, and a, uh, and a power connector. So yeah, really nice project.